Hello, dear students. How are you today? I hope you are. You are okay. I hope so. Today, inshallah, we are going to discuss chapter five in our wonderful story, Peter Pan. But at first, we are going to start by the new vocab of this chapter. The first word we have today is make believe. Make believe. And it means pretending that something is real. Pretending that something is real. So there is something and it's not real, but I pretend that it's real. And of course, it's adjective because I describe something. So look at this example. The kids are having a make-believe tea. So they aren't having a real tea. It's just a make-believe tea. Let's move to the second word. We have the word strange, and I think we have learned this word before, and it means unusual. And what part of speech do you think? Yes, it's adjective. Because I describe something that it's, it's a strange because I haven't seen it before or I haven't met it, met it before. The third word we have is hang up, hang up, and it means to raise something up. Look at this picture. So the police officer is hanging up his gun, which means he is raising up his gun. We have the word struck. Struck is the past of the verb strike. And it means to stop working. Look at this picture. So I think this clock has stopped working. So I can say the clock has struck, which means it stopped working. Now it's the time for chapter five, but before starting, let's remember what happened in the previous chapter. As we remember from the previous chapter, the Peter Pan rescued Tiger Lily and saved Wendy from drowning by tying her to Michael's kite. Peter was alone in Mermaid Pool, and soon he would be under the water. He was waiting to die. But then he saw a white thing in the water. At first, he thought it was a piece of paper, but it was a bird. Another bird was trying to talk to him. It was trying to reach Peter to her nest. So, let's ask this question. What did Peter see in the water? What did Peter see in the water? Excellent. He saw, he saw a white thing in the water. And what was it trying to do? What was it trying to do? So it wasn't a white thing. It was another bird and it was trying to reach Peter to her nest. After risking Tiger Lily, the Indians and the, and the children became friends after the pirates caught Tiger Lily and Peter Pan rescued her. So they call him the Great White Father. Now, how did the Indians and the children become friends? Again, how did that the, how did the Indians and the children become friends? So, the, the Indians and the children became friends after the, 
after saving tiger lily or after risking tiger lily what did the indians call peter what did the indians call peter so the indians called him the great white father now we have reached the evening inside the inside that children's new house that they have built for windy the children liked listening to windy telling stories before bed they were waiting for peter at their at their new home he came and brought nuts for the boys as well as the correct time for windy so what did the children like to do before bed again what did the children like to do before bed excellent that's it they liked listening to stories before bed the second question what did Peter bring them? Or what did Peter bring to them? So, Peter brought nuts for the boys, as well as the correct time for Wendy. When Wendy began to tell the story they loved best, Peter would leave the room, and if they wanted to do anything special, they would say, it was Saturday night. Let's ask this question. What would the children say if they wanted to do anything special? Again, what would the children say if they wanted to do anything special? Excellent, that's it. They would say it was Saturday night. Now, all the children in their new house were having a make-believe tea, except for Peter, who had gone out to get the time. So, as we said, they, 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 they weren't having a make-believe tea. The, sorry for this. As we said, the they weren't having a real tea, but they were having a make-believe tea. So, what were the children having? Again, what were the children having? Excellent! The children were having a make-believe tea. Peter Pan got time on the island by finding the crocodile and then he stayed near it until the clock inside it struck. So, as we remember from the previous chapter that the crocodile had swallowed a clock that goes tick tick inside it. Inside it. So, Captain James Hope could hear if the crocodile was near. So, now, let's ask this question. Where did Peter go? Where did Peter go? Excellent, that's it. Peter Pan went to the crocodile and stayed near it. Now, let's move to the summary of this chapter or the important points in this chapter. Peter was alone in mermaid pool and soon he would be under the water. Luckily, another bird was trying to talk to him. It was trying to reach Peter to her nest. So, what was the bird trying to do? Excellent! It was trying to reach Peter to her nest. 
The Indians and the children became friends after the pirates caught Tiger Lily and Peter Pan rescued her. So they call him the Great White Father. So, what did the Indians call Peter? Again, what did the Indians call Peter? Excellent! They called him the Great White Father. The children were waiting for Peter at their new home. He brought nuts for the boys, as well as the correct time for Windy. So let's ask this question. What did Peter bring to them? What did Peter bring to the children or to the boys? Excellent. He, ha he brought nuts for the boys. The children liked listening to stories before bed. And when, and when Wendy began to tell the story they loved best, Peter would leave the room. And if they wanted to do anything special, they would say it was Saturday night. So, what would the children say if they wanted to do anything special? Excellent! They would say it was Saturday night. Peter Pan got time on the island by finding the crocodile and then he stayed near it until the clock inside it struck. Now this is, this is the end of chapter 5 and I want to ask you a very simple question. Captain Hook will survive or not? What do you think? Again, Captain Hook will survive or not? We are going to discover this in the next chapter. Thank you for, for watching and have a nice day. Now, after listening and reading the story, let's answer this question. The first question, Peter saw a white thing in the sea. And he thought it was a piece of paper. What was it? And what did it try to do? Again, Peter saw a white thing in the sea. And he thought it was a piece of paper. What was it? And what did it try to do? Excellent! It was the never bird. And it was trying to reach Peter on her nest. The second question, how did the children and the Indians become friends? Again, how did the children and the Indians become friends? They became friends after Peter had saved Tiger Lily. So, how did the children and the Indians become friends? They became friends after Peter had saved Tiger Tiger Lily. Question number three. Where did Peter go to get the time? Where did Peter go to get the time? Excellent. He went to the crocodile and stayed near it until the clock inside was struck. So again, where did Peter go to get the time? He went to the crocodile and stayed near it until the clock inside was struck. Question number four. What did the children like to do before bed? Again, what did the children like to do before bed? Excellent. The children liked listening to stories before bed. So again, what did the children like to do before bed? They liked listening to stories before bed. The last question, what did the Indians call Peter Pan? 
What did the Indians call Peter Pan? They called him the Great White Father. Again, what did the Indians call Peter Pan? They called him the Great White Father. Now let's move to the complete part. Number one, never bad was trying to reach Peter Pan on her space. Again, never bad was trying to reach Peter Pan on her. Excellent. Never bad was trying to reach Peter Pan on her nest. Question number two. All the children were having a space except space. Huh. Except for whom? Excellent. All the children were having a make-believe tea, except Peter. Question number three. Peter had brought space for the boys, as well as space for Wendy. Excellent. Peter had brought nuts for the boys, as well as the correct time for Wendy. Question number four. If the children wanted to do anything special, they would say it was space. Excellent. If the children wanted to do anything special, they would say it was Saturday night. Question number five. When Wendy began to tell story, Peter would space the room. Excellent. When Wendy began to tell story, Peter would leave the room. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.